Graham Burke strokes it out to the left hand side. Kavanaugh with the delivery and Carr is there. Dan Carr scores. And a spectacular celebration. Shamrock Rovers in front. What about this for a ball from Sean Kavanaugh? And Carr did the rest. 1-0. Slugger Rovers agreed because Reese McCabe was down injured. David Pauley having a word with the referee, Neil Doyle. Here's Gary Boylan checking away from uh, Sean Kavanagh initially and also from Graham Burke. Now, can Sligo manufacture an opening here? Cross takes a deflection with a run for Cawley, who tees it up for Gary Boylan. And Boylan, well, that's a pretty routine save for Kevin Horgan, who's preferred tonight, ahead of Tomer Chinsinski. McCabe. Now Patrick McLean strides forward and plays it out to Sligo's right-hand side, controlled by Boylan. Plenty of height on the cross, looking for Moorhouse. And again, Horgan well-positioned. Ethan Boyle with a throw-in. Held down by Burke. Shaw with the layoff, and Burke goes down. And it'll be a free kick for Shamrock Rovers, right on the edge of the area. Dangerous territory for Sligo. So Burke and Mele over the free kick. It's going to be Burke to whack it just over the top. Well struck effort from Graham Burke. McCabe. Again, Boylan is the target. Cushioned header for Adam Wickstead. Still there for Wickstead. And now Boylan, faced by Brandon Mele, works it on to his left, delivers the cross off Ethan Boyle. It'll run here for Cawley. Blocked away. And Luke Byrne tidies up. Out defending from Shamrock Rovers. Was there a handball in there? Collie's shot. Repelled. Boylan sends it forward. The time all but up at Tala Stadium. And referee Neil Doyle blows the full-time whistle. It's a narrow win for Shamrock Rovers. Their fourth home win in a row. Full-time. Shamrock Rovers won. Sligo Rovers nil.